Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town, and it's been way too long. Um, I've probably not not released a video for this long in almost forever, but we have a great package that I just got in, and I'll explain a little bit more about why I've been slow, but it's probably about 2,000 bucks worth of items, and I have to figure out the exact totals, but a wholesaler had just shipped this stuff to me, and I'm always thrilled to get an unboxing in, so I might break it up into two parts, but I'm thrilled. Should be a good mix of world, US, and everything in between. Um, which is pretty much anything uh, or, or nothing, depending on how you look at it. So let's dive right in and get into this hunt. And talk about an epic mix. It looks like we've got a bunch of silver in here. I actually can't see, but it looks like probably mostly foreign uh, items. And then a bunch of great US items on this side and then some sweet world stuff. So I think the format, I think in this video, and then I'll release the following part in a few days, um, we're gonna start with all of this US uh, as well as this interesting world silver. I'm gonna save this for a second video. Again, I wanna be able to focus on the coins in front of us. So why don't we start, and, and the other factor is um, in terms of not releasing quite as many videos is that we've been prepping some whatnot sales. Isaiah's gonna do one this Saturday at 12 p.m. I'm trying to figure out a time for one either next week, might be early next week, might be uh, a little bit later on, but some sort of a weeknight sale. So keep updated, especially on my treasuretown.com email list, but let's just get right into it. So have got a proof 1963 Canadian dollar with Queen Elizabeth who reigned from 1952 and then passed away. I forget if it was earlier this year or if it was in uh, 2022. Um, I would lean towards 2023. Uh, here we have a very nice, pretty lustrous, uh, one of these centennial Canadian dollars as well. Has a little bit of toning and a, a thumbprint on it. Um, a pretty large 1937 two and a half golden with Queen Wilhelmina uh, right on the front of it. And I really like the toning and luster on that. And so that's great. Um, we've also got this 1938 looks pretty, uh, and we would continue as Americans, um, making coins for the Dutch, uh, after the third Reich Nazi Germany took them over. And so, um, you know, just good, good info to have, I guess. And, you know, we really stepped up for across the world, um, producing coins for all the allied countries. So they continue to have a monetary, um, you know, ability and new coinage. A lot of it's been uncirculated though, because they often switch to different sort of standards post-war. 1977 larger Hercules design, uh, 50 francs. That was the same design that they had after moving away from, um, you know, their, their previous, I think it was, uh, Emperor Napo or Napoleon the third. Um, here, this is a five drachma, 1876, nice larger Greek coin that could definitely be better. There's some interesting, um, items from from that range so that should have a bit of a premium uh, we've got a full crown from 1937 from the united kingdom which is great this is a really cool older canadian dollar 1939 king george the sixth he was 36 to 52 before queen elizabeth the second have never seen this design before it's a romanian hundred thousand lay uh from 1946 wow right after world war ii fascinating item and then we also have this Napoleon the um, Third, 1856, five francs. That's an earlier one. I've seen probably a lot more that are a bit later on. So great. He's the uh, nephew of Napoleon the First. Very historic item. Uh, we've got this Ludwig uh, five mark from 1876. That should be yeah from Bayern. So there's different German states, not one unified Germany in terms of how they're producing their currency. And this one is a. Again, very interesting toning on this one. I've seen this one, but never with this sort of a toning. Uh, Denmark, 1967, 10 kroner. Really kind of a big fan of how that one looks. So, and let me try to center that better on the camera. So now we're gonna dig into, after a bunch of sweet world silver, dig into all of this, what appears to be US type coins, which is awesome. Uh, we'll start right here. That looks like you know, obviously a cull or, or it's been holed and plugged back together, but at 1809 half cent with decent detail attached, um, which is obviously great. We've got right here, seems like a Colombian half dollar, and we'll see what else. Two Colombian half dollars possibly, 1893, and a potential additional one also going to be uh, another Colombian, not in any particular great condition. Uh, after that, let's see what this is. Civil War token, 
and it looks like an army navy sort of these were made during the civil war of course to fill in for the change that says new york so it's been well worn but a design i haven't seen tons of were made to cover up that people basically were hoarding especially the larger size sense but there was just a big shortage of, of uh, available change so that sort of filled in the gap and then we've got some nice booker t washington half dollars very cool with interesting tone let's see those two were 1946 they were produced to fund a memorial cabin uh that commemorated booker t's birthplace and that one's in in a nice condition as well 1946 there's some with nice toning on it 46 uh 46 and 46 so is that yeah um all going to be relatively similar in terms of the dates but definitely additional great type coinage we've got some large cents in this bag I always think that these are pretty charming. There's a nice 1856, that looks good. We've got a few sort of cully, at least that one's hold. We'll see if the other ones are. Doesn't appear like it, 1832. No date and a, a earlier date, 18, maybe 08 on that, but I don't know that I would sell that with a date on there. Maybe sell it as a no date and then let somebody you know, capture the upside or something. Uh, these actually look like some decent dates, 1822, 1845, 1845, 44. You know, even if they're a little scrubbed, I like it when you can clearly see the date. 46, 17, 32, and 35. Awesome. And I, I just miss making lots and lots of videos. Here we've got the Carver, uh, T Carver Washington. Washington Carver, excuse me, commemorative from 1851. Let's see, a bunch of three cent nickels, which will be fun. Hopefully, could be some, some better condition or something. 1881, that one looks decent. And I think the rest of these will be as well. So, you know, 65, 66, 67, 66, 65, and a range of conditions here, but a nice mix, all sort of in that civil war or just right after it time frame so hey it's it's cool to get this stuff in and a lot of this will be going given that good amount of it is less specialty material certainly going to be headed for people's uh collection but here's a 1836 dime and here we've got an 1852 three cent silver that actually looks pretty pretty good as well Let's see, potential for some interesting, always try to make sure no key dates or any big varieties, though I haven't really found any from this source. 64, two cent pieces, awesome, 65. That one's in decent condition as well, 65. Some of it's a little more challenged, but a nice range here. That one maybe a little bit better detail, but pretty banged up. It would be a cull coin, certainly. And really just a nice group of type items here all throughout. I feel bad. I don't really know the Barber Dime key dates. And so I'll, I'll admit that. 1854. It's interesting. When I first started taking a look at, and here's a 1883. Very nice. That one actually looks pretty good. I first started doing coins. I was surprised how some dealers always had to look things up. Maybe it's a mark that I, I should, you know, get better at, but I'm not the best at memorizing all the key dates on the U.S. coinage because of the ease of the internet. So, you know, that's another thing that you can sort of take with you if you're able to get really good at knowing all the dates, but even more so all the varieties on the dates. There's really established coin companies out there that I've seen people picking through and basically selecting all these great varieties that nobody picks up on. 1859, quarter, 91, 76 cc carson city nevada mint 1854 with arrows that signifies a, a metal change and then right there is 1861 nice little civil war date and then on the inside there let me pull it out it actually looks like it's in a little bit better shape pretty nice 1876 quarter so i think the seated designs are really nice personally i know some people aren't as hot on them, but 
I, I find them to be pretty nice looking. Let's see what else we've got here. Got some 1840, 53, and a 37, very early half dime. Mm. That's the, you know, what we had before Nichols, 1853-0, New Orleans Mint, and then at 1850, the New Orleans Mint was made in, I want to say, when, when was it? It was 1838, I think they made Dahlonega, Charlotte, and New Orleans, and then closed the other two during the Civil War when the Confederates took over. New Orleans stayed open until the early 1900s. Here's some shield nickels. That one's going to be the early rays type. That was 66 and 67. They then took off the rays. At, um, well, I guess maybe all these are with rays. No. Here's with rays. Here's without. Because it was just causing a lot of problems for the dyes. The dyes would break down, and so it would be more expensive to pre produce the coinage. Looks like we got a good little number here of fatty Indian head scents. The earlier composition. And... 63, 62, 62, 62, 59, that's the type 1, 61, all these Civil War dates or just leading up to it. So, good mix. Happy about that. Let's see what that is. 1859, that one actually looks pretty nice. I'll, I'll likely have paid a bit more for those. 63, very fun. Lots of great U.S. items here. What are those? Something looks interesting. Maybe, oh, maybe they're just really banged up. A 64 and a 59. Hey, at the end of the day, somebody will be excited to own those coins, put them in their collection, and I'll be happy to, you know, get them there to them. So, and a, a nice, again, mix over here on the Flying Eagle scent side. 1858, 57, 58. Always looking for the 56. The coin dealer I, I worked at, when I was just starting out in coins, great, great guy, Chris Moran, he once found a 56. So you always got to keep the eyes peeled. Let's take these out. I know I could just show them to you quickly, but these cap bust half dollars, man, they're such great pieces of American history. 1824. Very nice. And we've got a seated as well. I think the first date I ever bought was 1876. I got one for 25 bucks at a local coin show when I was with my grandpa and just takes me back so that's really fun looks like we're gonna finish up this part this is basically uh, I, I have a few maybe I'll look at one coin or something from the new bag but we've got some stone mountain commemorative half dollars as well from 1925 these sort of were used primarily to raise money for um, different like confederate um, statues and so they would have people sell them for like a dollar or something or dollar fifty forget exactly the number and then there are some specially stamped Stone Mountain ones. So in addition to there being like a double die or triple die, something like that, it's not too valuable. Um, but it was sort of a general effort to sort of go back with with the Southern history and, and sort of glamorize the, you know, here, here we see on the back it says, Memorial to the Valor of the Soldier of the South. So um, kind of an effort to promote the, the Southern pride um, in the South. So that kind of wraps up this pretty big and it, there's honestly a fair bit of value contained in there i kind of want to do a preview on this side as well let me just pull out one of these bags and show you so you keep hopefully it's a cool one keep your eyes peeled for the next one that looks interesting that looks like what 83.5 percent silver we've got some french francs something looks old that might be a haitian coin even and then over here it's a nice swiss herdsman so should be a uh, pretty good hunt, and I'll see you on that one in just a few moments. Keep an eye out for the whatnot in the emails, as always, and hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to visit our website, treasuretown.com, to stay up to date on everything going on on the channel and possibly get some great deals on coins and collectibles. We look forward to seeing you on our future videos, and best wishes until then.